Hey there and welcome back. So as you can see in front of us today we're looking at the Centenary Smoky Joe and I saw this in my local model shop. Again I've mentioned multiple times Asher Model Centre and I'm sure you're tired of me saying that every time but I always like to shout out where I get my, my bits and pieces from my local motors for all this talk from just to support our local businesses especially with the sad sad closing of Hattons and I have had a few dealings with Hattons and they've been absolutely wonderful and it's such an incredible loss to the modeling industry so it's Hattons I would like to say a quick thank you for everything what you've done to support everybody on their modeling journey and whatever that has been and I wish them their employees family i wish everybody all the best so yeah a little bit of sad news but let's get back on with this so yes i was unable to get any of the centenary stuff at the time i saw this and i thought Do you know what let's give it a go let's see what it's like i've never owned a smoky joe it was always one of them that i'd thought of and fancy picking up it's just one that I never got round to and then when I saw this I thought you know what let's just grab hold of it so as we can see we've got a lovely presentation box if we turn it over if you look at this it's kind of a homage to how it was presented originally its original packaging which is kind of cool I mean there's nothing wrong with this it's got the extra protection here so that's just going to make sure that the loco arrives safe and sound in absolutely perfect condition so it's a great little presentation box if we bring this in and we will leave that there for a second if you want to pause it because there's quite a bit of history there on the pug explaining about this locomotive so if you guys want to have a look at that there you go and then let's move this round to the side so you can see there is the number I paid £40 for this my local shop and I thought you know what for a little old 4 0 especially with the way prices are nowadays I thought to be fair that's not a bad price especially for a limited edition version so yeah so I'm quite pleased with that so let's bring the model into shot let's have a quick look at it and then let's get up close and see all the detailing what's on this locomotive okay so before we get close with this here is the actual model as you can see it's a lovely little 040 and if i just use the light there as you can see it's got a very shiny finish this a different finish i believe as to what's normally on the locomotive apparently from what I've seen it's normally a bit of more of a dull a bit more of a matte finish where as you can see this is very shiny looks very sleek there's a molding line there as, I mean we can see it on this camera but it's not that bad and to be honest I kind of like this little shiny finish I'm I am actually glad that I've got this because compared to the original model what's been made this does look very very nice so Let's pop this down, let's change the camera and then let's get up close and let's check it out in all this detail. Okay, so here we have it up close. Now, this is still staying with the traditional 040 build of being more durable, more, if you will, like newer modeler, more child friendly, as in if it gets knocked and bashed around a little bit, it's not going to fall apart the only difference with these ones is that they aren't or the modern ones should I say they aren't like the pocket rockets which we all love to see go flying around the track and, <laughs> and crashing off at every single bend because you've just sent them too fast but laughing insanely because of how fast there's such a tiny little locomotive's going these have been geared down to run at a more realistic speed now and while it does look good I do kind of miss the, the whole pocket rocket because you can run them nice and slow. But yeah, it's just fun sending them fly around the track for such a small locomotive. And as we all know, these are absolutely bullet and bomb proof. These will really, really 
these will probably outlast every other model what you've got on your railway. So let's go to the front of this. So as you can see, we don't have sprung buffers here. They are plastic. We've got a nice bit of different, plas um, different plastic, different coloration on the front. As you can see, that really, really does look good. If we get super close up to this, we can see that we've got the number on the front. We've got some extra detailing picked out. Now, this isn't separately fitted at the front. It has been picked out very, very wonderfully though. As you can see, just going around the side. And it is a little bit of a shame that it's all not been picked out. But again, as you're watching this going around, you just need that little bit of a highlight around the front to say, you know, this is what it is so it's absolutely fantastic as we continue to go around the side here we do have a little bit of a a molding piece there what's that oh no 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 that's just a i'm still getting used to this camera picking up stuff well isn't actually a error in building it's just like a bit of dust or something so you'll just have to bear with me while i'm getting used to this new camera so we've got an absolutely fantastic application of delivery on the side i really do like this little extra lining it absolutely makes it really really great we've got some detailing around the side now unfortunately as you can see here that this is part of the motor mount this is what helps to hold the motor in if we go on to the other side we can see it briefly just there and it is a little bit of a shame that that's sticking out the side but it has been tried to you know be disguised the best way that it could and while it's not i'm guessing prototypical for the model or how they are in real life doesn't look that bad really does it so as we can see here now this is what i'm loving about this camera if we can see from here, I cannot tell what that is, but this is a testament to home because if we bring this really up close, you can actually see the LMS built. You can see, let's see how close can we get this? And that is just an absolute testament to Hornby with the level of detail what they're trying to achieve, even on a locomotive like this, because you can see clearly what that is supposed to tell you and that is fantastic so let's go around the side we've got the wheels we've got the centers what have been painted in here which look great and if anything you can see the quality of the wheels here because as i turn this you can see the metal through these and just how good that they have been done as we can see, we've got our motor underneath there. And you can see the motor body through there, but again, that's not that's nothing really to to worry about. We've got what well, looks like some separately fitted rods underneath. We've got a number which has been applied really, really wonderful. And again, if we back this out, as it's going round, you can roughly see what that is. But if you bring this model up close like this you can see the the lettering and if we turn it round to the back so we've got a little bit of a paint mark there but again this model is a few years old if this has been well this will have been owned before i'm guessing so that may not be from the factory however that is not a deal breaker it's something that can be quite easily touched up or if anything it adds a little bit of extra character so if you go to the inside you can see we've still got that wonderful shiny finish now i understand that there is you know there's not been anything really picked out in here but if this is keeping with original 040s then you don't get a lot of detail picked out so i'm actually kind of glad that they've not picked it out because it's keeping it very much how these would have been originally out of the box but one thing that is a nice little touch we do have a metal rail fitted around the edge of the cab now that is separately fitted and it will give you a little word of warning if you are going to get one of these i mistakenly pulled on this just by accident and it did pop off 
However, it does clip back in very, very easily. That was my own fault, my own mistake. But just to let you guys know, so just be careful. This is a little bit more of a fragile piece. So if we go around to the other side, we can see it's just exactly the same. If we go on top, now let's have a look at these because look how shiny these are. And I can feel that these are very cold. It looks like that these are metal and separately fitted and these have been done wonderfully well. And yes, there is the moulding around the top, but again, that's not something that matters to myself. And then we've got a separately fitted whistle here. And this has been done really lovely. As you can see, you can just see through the windows. There's no like glazing or anything like that in the windows. So there we have it. There is the centenary edition of Smokey Joe. And I absolutely love how this thing looks. It's got a great amount of detail. It's really nicely finished. And if anything, I, I prefer how this looks compared to the original. So, yeah. So what we'll do, we'll get the test track down. We'll put some power into it and then we'll change back to the other camera. And let's see how this moves. And we'll, do you know what? Just to show you, we'll get one of the older pocket rockets out. Just to show the difference that we're on about with the gearing. Okay, so here we have our little Smokey Joe down onto the track. Now, as always, I'll just turn this around. We are using the Gauge Master controller to see how this locomotive operates. So let's start turning this controller up slowly. Now, I will say it is working. As always, I make sure that locomotives are working because I want to show you guys a working model. I don't see the, the point of pointing out that a locomotive is not working or faulty as it could be something simple, something genuine. So this has been run in, this has been worked on the layout, but apart from that, it hasn't been run. So let's turn the control up slowly. Let's just turn you guys a little bit and let's see what we're doing. So we're up to about 10, oh, there we go. Just before 20%, it kicks in. And as you can see, it is wonderfully, wonderfully nice and smooth. Can it manage the little incline? And look at that, it's just about got moving and it is already able to manage this little incline that we've made onto this test track. So absolutely fantastic. So let's just turn this down a touch. Let's see if we can get this to go a little bit slower. No, I think that's about the cut-off point for this where it's actually going to move quite steadily. Yeah, I think that's about it. Now, here is the fun bit. So I'm just going to turn this controller off. So as we saw, that was... And in fact, to tell you what, let's just round this up to 20. Let's just put it on there. There you go. That's 20% with this locomotive. Now... As we know and remember from the pocket rockets, I would like to bring in this one. Now, I am going to do a review on a couple of the pocket rockets because I do love them. One thing I will quickly point out, if you look at the design of these two locomotives, they are the same. And this spoiler is one that we are going to look at. But see the way the motor is there? And let's just bring in this other one that I have. And because of the larger body, the large, larger overhang, you don't see it on this one. So it is just one of those things. So this little bit here for the motor is no issue whatsoever. Now, I know that this is a little pocket rocket. This is one that was used in a challenge by another channel. Part of the reason why I've got this, because I know how amazing these are. This is set to 20, and let's see the difference. As you can see, it's a lot quicker already. And let's do something a little bit fun. So, here is our Smokey Joe. We'll pop our Smokey Joe up to 50 on the controller. Let's just pull it out a shot. So that's not too bad. It is a little bit quick. 
I'm guessing in real life, that's probably about how quick you'll see these moving. And let's put our little pocket rocket on. So let's just move this just off the camera. You should just about be able to see the front of it. And let's set this one off. <laughs> oh dear. I... <laughs> it was actually moving the test track then. I absolutely love these things. Oh, these are so much fun. I can't wait to do the review on these. So anyway, let's go back to the one that we are looking at. So our Smokey Joe, absolutely fantastic little locomotive. What we are going to do, we'll take this down onto the layout. We'll put some coaches behind it as we normally do. You know, we'll show you it running around the layout and we have some small little coaches that we can use what will look really really nice with this so it is i suppose a bit more like industrial it is more of a shunter but i think these coaches will look really nice and then after that we will come back we will leave it just like this and let's do a little summary so there was one little thing i did forget to mention we are going to go straight to the test track but we have the manual that comes with this and okay so the inside has been printed upside down but hey ho that's fine that's fine <laughs> oh that's a bit funny a bit strange but we have the manual here telling us how to remove the body how to look after it and some detailing on the bottom on the best way of removal and that is great albeit upside down yeah so as you can see these are very basic still a very basic locomotive it's still something that you don't need a lot of like maintenance with so they are great and as we can see we've got a detail pack with two cabin crew or two cab crew not cabin crew because this isn't a ship or a aeroplane as we can see it's clearly a train so they are a great little addition if you want to fit them or paint them up and with this being the centenary edition we have this certificate so this is locomotive 1964 out of 2000 and as we can see, that's just explaining the certificate. And yeah, I, I, I like locomotives like this. It just makes them, for me, makes them that little bit more special. So, let's get this, as we said, down onto the test track. Okay, so as you can see, we've got it down onto the layout. Now, there is one thing that I do want to show you just before we do set this off and running. First off, we have our little setup of coaches there ready to go. As you can see, we're using this in a bit more of a natural daylight. So, for those who have layouts that are, say, you know, that have natural layout, uh, natural daylight in a room or something like that, you can see what this looks like without being under the lighting what I have obviously you know used to highlight things so we have here now we know what all four O's are renowned for with even these little points so let's just see quickly how this gets on over these points so this controller is different this is the HM2000 what my dad has for his layout and at the moment as you know we are still using this layout because this is a fully built layout so let's just see what this is like and it would also be handy if we sent it the right way. So let's turn it up slowly. As you can see, it's decided to stop. See, you can't beat live recording like this. So let's send it off slowly to these points. Come on, there we go. And as we follow it round, that's quite a low speed. And look at that, it is making it over these points. Oh, let's watch it leave the station and have a little bit of a running session.
okay so here we are back so guys let me know down below were you fortunate enough to pick up one of these locomotives do you have one of the original Smokey Joes and is it the pocket rocket like the other ones that I showed you before and again for me for a little something special for the Hornby centenary year £40 for a cracking little locomotive and yeah what more could you want it's an absolute no-brainer for me this is such a cool little locomotive I made up to own this I think £40 for a limited edition especially you know a model like this for me I think that's great value if you can find one for that price so thank you very much for watching thumbs up like and subscribe and oh my god I cannot believe how many new subscribers we've had recently so to anybody who's new hey there welcome thank you for subscribing and watching and as always we shall see you in the next video